it's wild to think that your character has literally been around for six years. Like really one of the first mainstream LGBTQ characters we've seen on a drama. Yeah, it's wild. And that's one of the cool things about Grey's and particularly about it being on for so long is you get to see these deeply well-rounded characters and you get to see them grow along with us as an audience. And especially for the queer community, that's something that we need. It's a, uh, you know, it, it shows queer people in all different facets. So I've been very fortunate. <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely love seeing Dr. Levi's journey. Like, what has it kind of been like for you to like tackle all the different storylines and all the crazy forms of representation that's been thrown at Dr. Levi the past six seasons? It's really been a blast and it's really mirrored a lot of my life. You know, he and I have sort of walked hand in hand through a lot of big life moments. And, um, you know, all of the first few seasons dealing with his queerness and coming out, was super fun and super um, exciting to talk about a, a queer story that's rooted in pride and rooted in self-acceptance. And then we moved into the later seasons of his character where things got a little bit darker with him and his job and losing a patient and um, going through burnout because of the pandemic. And so it's really been, I've really been able to do a lot with this character and it's, I'm very grateful. What haven't fans seen just yet in particular when it comes to Dr. Levi? Give us something, Jake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, you know what? By, by the end of season 19, I feel like we're starting to get a grip on his own teaching technique and how he can balance, you know, being a student and also being a teacher. And I'm hoping that in season 20, we'll get to see him thrive a little bit more in that space. Um, I keep going back to the blood storyline, the blood donation storyline for, for queer men specifically, because we talked about it quite a bit at the end of last season. And, you know, even just with the recent news about the, the opening up of regulations, sort of, it, it feels like a, a tiny step forward, but not the, not exactly what we're asking for. <laughs> Um, and so I would love to revisit that, honestly, to sort of educate people more on that. Jake, I have to imagine like the messages you must get from the fans and people who have stumbled upon Grey's Anatomy throughout the years and then like, I finally see myself in somebody, like thank you for bringing this character to life. Like, what has that relationship with the fans been like as you've brought this character to mainstream television? Oh yeah, I mean, it's messages, but it's even more than that. It's running into queer people just out and that's what I find really special because you get to really connect with somebody on a personal level and there's already the, this like immediate history between me and them and and that's been really really nice um but honestly it's been it's been a whole ton of support and I'm glad that I can give some of that and receive some of that I think it's a great moment to remind each other what pride actually is and i think you know it's very easy to get wrapped up in the in the parties and the and the joy of it and that's very important but first and foremost it was a riot it, it is a a moment for all of us to come together and really fight back and 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 also to really see where we want to go and how to take the steps together to get there and right now we are being pushed back we are, um, there, there's, there's huge things happening right now that are taking away the stuff that, that we fought for and the generations before us have fought for. And so it is important this whole year, this, this whole moment to, to fight back.